Hi, welcome to the breadboard and in this episode we're going to look at the thermal characteristics of a Raspberry Pi Model 3 from stone cold through powering up a brand new instance of Raspbian Jesse with Pixel um, and we're going to let it run for maybe 10 minutes. Um, that's all I'm going to do here is just going to show you um, from being cold, which is what you're looking at right now, uh, and how the hotspots will show up and how hot it will get to. I've drawn a diagnostics box over the image and what it's showing you, there's two little pixels that are dancing around, one here which is showing the high temperature and that's only about 20 uh, seven degrees thereabouts, 28 degrees, and that's actually because of emis um, reflections from other hot spots in the room. And the other one that's dancing all over the place is the low temperature, which is sitting at about 26 degrees. That is a little warm in the basement here. Um, so an average temperature of about 27 degrees. So not very much. The board is not even powered up. I've never powered it up yet. I'm just waiting to um, burn a SD card to power it up for the first time and we'll record the entire process for start to finish and it'll take about you know I think 10 minutes is long enough to let it warm right up through just so that you can actually see um, where the hotspots are on a Raspberry Pi and get some accurate readings now I say accurate because the thermal imager that I'm using is actually 320 by 240 resolution so very significantly um, higher resolution than most of the handheld um, thermal images that you can get on the market today, especially ones that are able to focus on a um, small board like this at fairly close range to maximize the use of the uh, thermal imaging. So anyway, I've just got to pause the video while I wait for the SD card image to come down and burn onto a card and then we will resume this and see what happens. Just to clarify, I am a little bit out of focus right now because I've zoomed out so that I can have the entire Raspberry Pi Model 3 board under the thermal imager at the moment. Uh, once we've warmed up for five or six minutes, I'll start zooming in and we can have a closer look. Um, but until then, we will just keep it out here and be a little slightly blurry. You'll still be able to see where the hotspots are. Okay, the SD card is plugged into the Raspberry Pi. I have a network cable attached. I do not have a monitor attached. And I'm just about to power it up. So let's just clear the data out from here. Focus it as good as I can on the main CPU, which is basically in this area right here. It'll show up more as it, as it uh, warms up. This shiny strip here is just the... Um, pins reflecting off some of the heat in the room. So just ignore that. Anyway, let's power this up again and we'll see what the CPU itself does. Going on now. So you can see, ooh, look at that. Quite interesting. Temperature rising rapidly on the CPU there. I don't know if I can focus a little better or not. No. So powered up, we're at 39 degrees now. You can see the temperature rise spiked up to um, well, quite high and then drop back off again at what's that that's 50 60 degrees or so and then just drop nicely back down you can see there the blue being the average is still staying around about 32 degrees which is quite cool now this is not doing anything of course so uh, it's no surprising it doesn't have any um, heat, heat beyond just a base level being generated. You can see there's a little cool hot spot down in the corner here. If you'd love to get a hold of the actual image map of the die, see what pieces are uh, heating and cooling, but nevertheless, 
we have what we have. All right, let's just have a little wander around the board, just because we can. So we'll go down here. This is the power supply section. You can see there my finger being relatively cool now. Um, so you can see the power supply is not getting very hot at all, which is good. That's the CPU, and here's the Ethernet controller. Of course, that's getting quite warm. Um, everything else is staying relatively cool. If I want to keep this video really, really small, I just wanted to show you that um, these things don't get too hot when they're not too busy. Of course, you can drive them very, very high if you want to. And I wanted to just show you the profile as it is powering up. So this is going to be a Pi being rebooted from the console. Let's go. So I'm not going to stress test the uh, Raspberry Pi under the camera for this video. I will do another one uh, when I can tell you all about the camera. But for now, I'm just going to fire up a few applications on the Raspberry Pi. So you should be able to see some various areas of the CPU lighting up depending on what I tell it to do. Okay, this is showing the processor in pretty much idle. The utilization on the Pi itself is only showing sort of 0% most of the time and just jumping up to 1 or 9 at max for anything else. So what I'm going to do is uh, fire up maybe a YouTube video or something. And see if we can get this. I mean, you can see already there as I'm making it busy, it's uh, jumping around in the CPU cores here. Let's just play a yeah, random clip here. The Boss Baby movie trailer. Let's make it full screen. So you can see now that top half of the CPU is uh, lighting up like a Christmas tree. That's probably the GPU side of things. Let's just stop this and see if it settles down again. Yep, you can see it's now dropped right down again and gone back to the bottom. So that's very cool. Anyway, I don't want to waste any more time with this at the moment. I uh, just wanted to give you a kind of teaser as to something we're going to be having a look at next week. I think you'll agree that it's kind of cool to be able to look at a circuit board in such de thermal detail and see what's going on with it. Great for diagnostics and things like that. Anyway, hope you like that. As I said, this is a Raspberry Pi Model 3. Um, that we're playing with here. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.